Good evening everybody and welcome back to Different Bloke with myself. Uh, for those who are looking for interesting stories from around the world and off, off world as well. So, right, first thing is to catch you up on what's going on uh, off world first of all. Uh, for those who are interested in the ongoing saga in Peru with the aliens, uh, we, we've heard sort of slight updates to say that uh, even the people in charge now are saying that it's not miners flying around on jetpacks. Um, so they are now saying also that it's not in one area that this is happening with these attacks. Apparently it's five areas. So the sort of like, I, I think the class as governors of the area have set up a task force to go out in search and try to solve the mystery of the alien attacks. So, hmm, very interesting that one's going to, right, going off world again. Two big stories that are underplayed at the moment are, uh, the crashes on the moon. Uh, that's now the Indian and the Russians have failed to land on the moon. Um, so how strange, isn't it? The Americans got there, landed on the side you could see, but we're talking about the dark side, so no one can check anything here. So very strange. It's a very, very conspiracy, isn't it? So we'll carry on in that theme uh, because I've been looking into something that's been a bit puzzling just lately, and that is uh, for everybody who follows me, uh, I know some of you are going to be American, uh, but over in the UK, we like to visit America. It's a fascinating place for us to go and some wonderful things we can see. Um, one of the biggest places to ever go is Yellowstone. There's masses of information about it. Uh, there's over 10,000 natural wonders to see. That's from geysers like Old Faithful and things like this. Um, but unfortunately, it's closed down. Which is uh, like, oh, right, what's going on? Right, so I've had a look and tried to find as much information about the closure for Yellowstone as I can. Uh, now, this is good. And stick with me again. This is going to... this. We're not in the realms of... Uh, I was going to say constipation then, but uh, it's the same sort of thing. It's a problem that needs solving. Right, um... Right, what we can find out is that there's been 149 earthquakes in the area so far this year. So, which is, you know, uh, it is it is a very um, busy area for, for seismics and things like that. Now, underneath, it's, some of it's going to be, I'm going to make this non-technical as I can. So, underneath the crust... Of this now, this Yellowstone Park is what we call a super volcano. Um, so it's just like a massive volcano. Okay, now it's got a thin crust on in the middle, and that's the caldera. Now, under the caldera, as it gets warm, the, the magma flow, there's what you call a magma chain drum relief, which is a big bubble of molten rock, which is forcing trying to get out. That's how it acts like a volcano. Now, this has been actually rising for several years, and the whole, I'll give you some idea, the whole area is, let me check on my figures, don't want to get your wrong one, I think it's 45, uh, 45 miles square, so it's a huge area, has lifted by up to 10 to 20 millimetres, okay, so it's gone, it's gone about that high, but imagine that, imagine a whole thing, like that, okay, so, but it's gone down, now, that's when you start worrying when it goes down, because that means that the pressure's off again and it's going to build up again. Now, does this mean that we're talking, boom, the whole thing's going to go back? No, we're not. No, that could happen any time anyway. So that's not the issue. The issue that we're looking at is that all the old faithful and the geysers and a lot of these features, they're all reacting very strangely now. So old, old faithful goes... Psh, Goes 100 foot up in the air. Now, that only goes off at a certain time. So I think something like every 90 minutes or something like that goes off. I'm not exactly positive about that. But uh, other ones that don't react for like half a year, only go off once or twice a year, they're going off like 10 times this year. So something is, is, is amiss underneath the, the surface of the skin. And they think it's this big magma that's actually forcing up, trying to get pressure again. And it's dropped down, it's going to go like that. So we might have a little rumble and tumble. Now, worst case scenario, if it went all, all to pot, 
and it did go bang like a, like a volcano. Uh, the forecast is that for five uh, square, well, five uh, states around it, which is a massive area, would be covered with up to 30 feet of pumice, pumice stone, which is what molten lava is when it comes out and gets thrown out. So it would rain pumice stones. Uh, now, if you're saying, oh, what, what's that mean? Well, uh, if you look through the history books, there's a place called Herculaneum and Pompeii. Pompeii is the most famous. And everyone was buried under this under this massive amount of pumice stone. And f everyone forgot about the whole city. It was a whole city. Uh, and it was only like, I think, 100 years ago when they started digging and started finding them and found this whole city underneath. That's what we're talking about. So we're not... But don't, don't start packing your bags and everything. There's a lot of other things going off. And I'm going to quickly skip off this, off off those of this. As I get more information about why they've closed it, then we can we can tell you a little bit more. Or if anyone's got some information and wants to put it on the comments, or you know, please do. Uh, also, in Kamchatka, there's also another volcano there, another big volcano. That again, that starts to show signs of of um, an eruption possibly as well. That's on the far side of Russia, and then in in, in Sicily as well, we've got one another one going off on Sicily. Uh, so there's quite a bit of uh, volcanic activity going on around the world, uh, and in conjunction with everything else that's been got going on with this space and the aliens and everything like that, and there's so much so much things going off at the moment. Uh, and then we've got the James Webb. I've got to give you the update on the James Webb, uh, James Webb telescope out in space. See what that's spotted and what's heading this way. So, if you like these weird and wonderful things, uh, subscribe, and then you'll get a notification when I come on. It changes all the time. I, I might have updates, or I might have something new, or something weird and wonderful. Uh, I like to change things. I like to make life, life interesting. And I don't take two things too seriously, nor do I don't want to bore you with masses of technical science. So I'll try to make it as easy to understand as possible. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this quick update, uh, and I will tune back as soon as I possibly can uh, with any more interesting information for you. Have a lovely evening. Ta-ta.